Hello everyone. Welcome back to the nursery. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Vicki. Uh, guys, this is going to be the start of my painting series. I promised you I would do. Uh, the first of the painting series, we're going to be mainly focusing on this little guy right here. Um, this will be a darker colored baby. I'm going to show you how to do my darker colored skin tones. And I don't know how dark I'm going to take him down, but if anybody wants a baby to do a baby that goes uh, darker than this one that I do, uh, you can, of course, message me or something like that. And I can give you, after these, these videos are over with, I can give you uh, the mix on a uh, darker, really darker color where you add black in it. And it's going to get real dark real fast. So, uh, yeah, but now, guys, I want to say before I start this, I do want to say that I am by no means claiming this to be a tutorial. This is just the way I paint my babies. And so everybody can come paint along with me if you like. And um, I'll show you how I do it. Like I say, it's not a tutorial. I am a self-taught. Um, let me get my little tray around here. i got to get my buggy around here, guys, so I can put my uh, baby on it. Up here on the little, what I've got, here's my drying rack. I'll show you that. Uh, well, it's okay. You know what that looks like. It's a drying rack. So, I'm getting that around here so I don't get no, I don't want no, um, like, prints of any kind on this. Because I'm telling you guys, any little thing on the darker color of babies are going to show up. Now, as I told you in my last video, the first thing I do is I use rubbing alcohol. And I will rub, I rub them down really good with that. Then I put them in a really soapy, warm bath. And uh, I actually run it as hot as I can, and I let them sit in that for a few minutes. And then I go in and I wash them real good. I rinse them really, really well, and then I bring them out here and just let them air dry. I don't use any kind of um, paper towel to dry them or anything because I leave lint on them. And especially the darker color babies, guys, I can't express to you enough how easy it is to get your fingerprints. Like, we have natural oils in our skins. If you touch that baby and leave that there and it's an oily spot, when you go to paint the darker colors, it's going to show up. On the, you don't really have to do that. I don't on the Caucasian babies when I'm painting them. But uh, by all means, when you're doing the dark colored babies, do not touch these dark colored babies with your hands and then paint because uh, you're gonna it, it will be splotchy. You have to be really careful on these guys. I've done it myself. I, you know, and if he does get this one does get to looking splotchy, I'll take it out. I'll strip it down and I'll start it again. But you have to be extra careful. So, the first thing I'm going to do on the darker color... Well, let me say this one more thing. Now, I will be adding these as I go. Uh, in other words, I'll be working on these babies. Uh, while this one... You know, I'm doing this one too, but I'll be working on these too. But I won't put these up on the Caucasian baby till after I get through with all the, ser the series on the dark colored baby. And I won't get them confused. Everybody won't get them confused like that. So, now... First thing I need to do is find out which of it. Well, I will show you this first. Okay, we're going to take. What we're going to do is we're going to take. Um, this is um, thin and medium. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me stir it up real good because I don't have a whole lot of it left. I've got to do an order this evening, guys. I need some varnish. I need some thin and medium. And I'm going to take some of the thin and medium. And you want to do about equal parts, you know, of what you think is going to do the doll, but you can always mix more. And I'll show you what I put in there of that. Let me show you. See that in that bowl? I've just got a bowl here, a glass bowl. I will try to get equal parts of, this is matte varnish. So you want to do equal parts of matte varnish and thin and medium. This is the first layer that's going to go on your dark colored baby. That you're, well, it will be a dark colored baby. Now, guys, this is also, I have to say, this is starting from a Caucasian baby kit you know you can get them by racial baby kits but you don't you this is not that okay now i will say i have a little bit of tint in mixed in with my varnish that i have it's a pinky color but that's okay it won't affect nothing on this yours won't have that pinky color because if you yours will be just matte you know matte varnish i just add a little tint to mine because when i'm doing my caucasian babies i want to give them that little pinkish like tint and so i add a little to it so you just I mean, a little color to it to make it a pinky. But it's okay. This is not going to show because I'm going to go over this baby. Oh, there's lots and lots. Uh, that's the only thing, guys, with the dark color babies. There is, I don't even know how many layers goes on them. Because you have to bring them down just a little bit. Layer after layer after layer. So this is going to be my first layer. Half thinning medium. 
half matte varnish. Okay, let me raise the camera up just a little. And I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to take that, just like that, and we're just going to, I just paint it on, just like this. I just take, I just got a brush. I just put it on there, and I just paint it on everywhere. All over the baby, in the ears, everywhere you can think. What I do is I go half the head first, and I do the back first. Let me make sure I'm on camera here for you. Okay. Then I'm going to take my uh, sponge, which I don't have nothing on it. This is a, just a black cosmetic wedge, guys. The reason I like to use these is uh, they they only had them in the color at CVS. They're bigger. You can use the other ones. So these are just bigger, and I like using them. So what you're going to do is you're going to start pouncing that. Now, the thing I'm going to express to you on this is you do not want no globs of paint. You want that spread out as even as you can get it. If you even have to, go over here and have you a paper towel. That's what I've got over here to the side. Have you a paper towel. And you just, I just keep going around. Blend, blend, blend. That's another thing. On the dark colored babies, blend. I'm, I'm talking blend. Okay, and then you're going to take, I've got, this is a, just a mop brush that I have. Um, I don't even know what size this is. Three quarter, three quarter, quarter mop brush. And then I'm going to go inside these little things right here, the little creases behind the ears, inside the ears. And I may even go back inside the ears again because it didn't look like that got that too good. And around the ears. And then I'm going to go back with my sponge and I kind of clean it off over here on my paper towel and I start with it again and I'm going to pounce 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 I'm going to make sure go behind those ears with that as much as I can inside with that as much as I can the ear and I'll go back over it with my oh sorry guys it's stuck on my finger but I'll go I'll try to go back over it with my mop brush and uh, yeah so that's got a little bit of dark color on it I didn't know that I may have to put me on another sponge, but it's okay because this one's going to go down to a dark color. But it must have been, I used this on the other baby when I done it the dark. It's got little dark flecks in it. Just make sure it's even, guys, that you don't have no puddles on it. And it's really even. Um, the reason we do this is, or the reason I do it is, uh, I think that it just helps my paint to stick better. So I'm going to do this all over the baby. You know, when we, we do all the other paints on top of this, it's going to make it stick better. Yeah. And I'm sorry, guys, if I'm taking a long time, but on this. I mean, if y'all guys know how to do this with this, you don't have to watch all this video. Um, this is just the first. I showed you last time how to do the prep. This is the first coat. All right. And then we're going to, I'm going to get my brush loaded again. I got that all real good. I'm going to come where I left off. And I'm going to start painting on that. Just like I did the other one. I'm getting flicks, flecks of dark off of something. I don't know what it is. I'm going to find me a different sponge. I think that sponge might be. I thought it was new. But I guess I could have used it before. and didn't even realize. You know, guys, I, I quit painting for a while. A little while because the baby came. and So it's been like uh, six weeks since the baby came. And uh, I stopped painting for a while, and I'm just about out of everything. I just so happened I did find a few pairs of of gloves and uh, my matte varnish. Like I said, I need some more of that. I'm almost out of thinning medium. I need some paints because I let it just about run out because I knew I wouldn't be painting for a while. And I didn't want it just sitting there and getting old, the paint to get old and everything. Which, you can use this paint here. It lasts for a long, long time, guys. This paint does. And, uh, oh, I didn't even mention, I'm sorry, guys. This is Genesis Heat Set Paint. I don't do the air dry paints. This is the Genesis Heat Set Paint. But, as I say, this is our first little step here. And, like I say, just don't, just, just keep pouncing. Come over here and wipe some off on your towel. If you have to, your sponge, wipe it off on your towel. Then I'll go in with my, um, uh, mop. I'll start going back over this stuff again, making sure that there's nothing puddled in those creases. Around the ears, around that, we're going to go around that, yes, yes, okay. 
Get around those eyes. Come over here and clean your mop off a little bit if you have to. See some black flecks on it. I don't know what's going on with that. Coming off that sponge, I'm pretty sure. But it'll be okay. I'll get them off as I go. But there's one. There's one. Huh. Well, what in the world? But this is doing that. Yeah, I got to order in some supplies, guys. I'm just, I'm not doing good on supplies right now. Because like I say, I let them run real low and almost run out when I was, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be painting for a while. And the baby's kind of adjusting in now, guys. We're doing real well with the baby. And we're kind of getting used to the baby, too. You know, it takes it takes adjustment for everybody in the house, really, even the dogs. And so we're kind of adjusting out a little bit now. So I'm finding that I maybe can paint or something like a few hours of, of the evening. And my son watches her while I do this for a few hours. And uh, I'm still not taking any customs right now. I have... I do, I have taken a few that are, are good friends of mine, guys. I'm going to be honest with you about it. They're real good friends of mine. But they're very patient. I know them. They're very patient. And um, they know, I tell them, you know, it may take me a while. I just, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'll just have to get to it when I get to it. And they understand that. And I know them. So I have taken a few for them. Uh, I'll be doing another one of these little guys for one of my friends. This is the Elisha I just got in. This is mine. She ordered her kit and is having it sent directly to me. And I'm going to paint it for her. But I won't say the name until she gives me permission. But I'll tell you when I get to painting it. What, who it's going to. If she don't care. If she don't mind. Yeah. So I have a few that I am doing for people. But that's just really good friends guys. That I know is not going to get in no hurry. Uh, they don't complain. Um, they they don't uh, aggravate me with it. You know, I, when's it going to be done? When's it going to be done? You know. They don't get upset with me if I'm slow. And believe me, I will be slow on this one. Okay. That looks pretty good, guys. You sure don't, well, right here. See, so you if you've got the right light, you can look in the light and you can see where you've got streaks. See, right there's a streak where I had my paintbrush. I need to take that brush stroke out. And I, if I hadn't had it under this light, I wouldn't have even saw it. And it will show in the darker colored paints, guys. Hang on, i got a hair. Probably off me. I took a shower this evening and I probably got it on there. Not long ago. And that's where I brushed my hair out, I guess. Uh, yeah, and uh, we will be doing good, though. We'll get this done. I just want to make sure it's all, and it does take time. And as I said, this, um, the darker babies takes way more time than the other ones because there's, there's going to be several, several, several layers and uh, that go on these dolls, the dark colored dolls. More than several. <laughs> I don't even know how many guys, I'll be honest. Because I just take them down just a little bit each time. I take my every layer of a little bit darker paint, you know. That's how I do mine. And they come out pretty good. Okay. That looks good. And I do not want to touch that. I don't want to, uh, like, touch it, smear it. If I do happen to get my hand on it, I, I have to take my sponge, go back out of it, and take, go back on it, and take that smear out of it. <sighs> Where are these? Now I'm getting hairs. My goodness. Okay. And that's what we're going to do for our first layer. Now, guys, when we get this on here and get it real good and smooth, I'm going to take this out to my new wave. Get all the limbs. I'm going to take it out to my new wave. And I am going to um, put it on. I'm going to bake it on number six. I put mine on six. And I'm thinking that it's like 265 degrees. I have a new wave that I use. But if you use something else, then it, I'm thinking it's around 265. But guys, I will stress, do not, um, don't bake these dolls in your oven that you actually make food in. And do not be closed up in a room, have it ventilated. I've got my new wave on the porch, on my front porch. And I'm not putting that smell in here because this is chemicals you're working with, guys. Because um, 
you know, you got the thinning medium, you got the uh, other and all that, you know, so, yeah, just make sure it's well ventilated, okay? And that's it for the first layer, guys, so I'll put this baby out into the, when I get it completely finished, she will go into a, it's number six on my new wave, which is a 265 degree oven. Uh, I'll put her in there for limbs too, head, limbs and all. Uh, I'll put her in there, which I'll let her sit up here and flash off first. I don't know the place I missed. So you just keep looking around and you'll see these little spots. You just make sure you get that off right. And, you know, get it pounced in. And, uh, but, yeah, just, I will bake her for, uh, let me see if I can even remember, guys. Uh, it's on number six. Eight minutes. No, no, no. I'm taking, no, no, no. Sorry, guys. Four. Four minutes, I think. Anyway, I'll find that out for you and let you know. I can't remember. It's, see how my memory's working? It's been a little while since I've done it, but I'll find out for you for sure. Um, I think it's eight minutes. And then I rotate. Yeah, it is. It's eight minutes. Okay. I'm right now, guys. Sorry about that. <sighs> Getting brain fog bad these days, guys. How about y'all? With this menopause and stuff. And then I've got so much going on that it's just... My memory's not working right. But yeah, it's eight minutes and I rotate. Like I'll put... Uh, I'll set it up here and let it flash off first. And when I say flash off, I mean I'll put it on my drying rack and I'll let it dry for a few minutes till it all dries in. And then when it dries in, I'll take it, put it in my oven. 265 or number six on the new way for eight minutes. I'll rotate. I'll put it on first on this side, two minutes. Then I'll stop the oven, turn it over on this side, two minutes. Front, two minutes. And back, two minutes. Same way with the limbs. I rotate them. The whole time that they're in there, I'm rotating them. Every two minutes. Now, she's her face is on the drying rack. And I'll start on these limbs. So, I'm not going to show you on the limbs, guys, because y'all know how to do this, I'm sure. Uh, I'll take and put it on the, the limbs, the legs and the arms. Make sure you don't have no puddling. Check between your toes, on the toes, the, all these creases. Make sure there's nothing in there that's going to um, get on them. You know, no, I mean, like, stay puddled up in there. And, uh, yeah, bake them with the head. The same thing with the head. I'll just put head, limbs, and all. Eight minutes, and I rotate. Every two minutes, I rotate uh, for eight minutes. And then I take them out. I let them cool. And then we'll do the next round, guys. We'll go to the next layer. So this is layer number one. Okay, guys, a little bit alone. I'm sorry about that. We're going on about 18 minutes, but it's the way it is with these dolls. So, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, tell everybody you know I'm doing the painting series on a darker colored baby. Not sure how dark, like I said, I'm going to go yet. But we'll figure that out as we go. And uh, tell everybody you know to come watch. And if you're not a subscriber, I would appreciate it if you could, would consider subscribing, subscribing to me. It, it helps me out a lot, guys. I'd appreciate it. And... Uh, yeah, and just uh, ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. And give me a thumbs up, guys, if you don't mind that like button. Hit that like button so I can, it'll push my videos further out into YouTube land. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in the number two on our Painting a Darker Colored Baby series. I'll see you soon, and much love to you all. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.